I think one of the most important questions we ever asked was, if that's your favorite rod, what would you do to make it better? 95, 99% of the time, guys that knew what they were talking about, didn't matter their sponsorship or nothing, you know, just, just didn't matter. They always had something they would change. And that's kind of what Alpha Angler became. It kind of became this culmination of how would you make that better? Arashi Deep 18 and the Alpha Angler rebound. Going to work. Look at that thing, dude. several reasons. Number one reason off the top of my head that I can think of is quality of the product and I've known about the product for several years. I've known Jake for a long time. We grew up in the same area and I've been able to feel the rods, fish with the rods a little bit and I actually several years ago after feeling the rods in my hand, the first ones I felt, I knew that they were special and was pushing Jake to actually start the rod company and get in the rod business because I knew they were something different, but he wasn't ready to do it. And so here we are four or five years later and everything is coming together and the quality of the product only continues to get better. And I made a promise to myself when I first got in this industry that I was going to always work to align myself with what I felt were the best companies and the best products to work with regardless of price. I never wanted to work with a company because they were paying me more money. I wanted it just strictly to be based on product and the people that I worked with at the company. And that's big for me. Company started like Alpha Angler started as a as a bunch of competitive anglers that were kind of had their own cust their fingers in the custom rod market making things that they were they were competing with every weekend. I mean, we were using this stuff for our own tournaments, our own purposes, and we, we kind of started this group of guys that were, were kind of the, providing all the feedback and all the demands and the things they really wanted in the rods. And, and what, we never built the rods to like, to be marketable or sellable. They, they, didn't, they weren't started with that focal point or their beginning point. They're, they were built to be tournament tools. They were, they were built to be really, really uh, you know, specific. that in our initial attempts to be different that we could we could get lumped into it that stereotypical garage custom rod operation but you know we're okay with that I mean if if, if we get lumped in with the, the garage uh, startup you know if Alpha Angler gets lumped up as a garage company uh, that's kind of humbling right I mean uh, Apple Amazon Nike uh, Harley Davidson they all started in a garage and I think what the characteristic of that I like the best is they didn't start with profit margins and stock prices as their end goal. They started with a passion for a product and, and we'll take that. We accept that. That's us at Alpha Angler. We, you know, we have a passion for fishing and we have a passion for building really good products. <laughs> 